computer guy today we're in bitwig studio we are going to talk about creating a manual shuffle in your midi clips now normally most daws have like a template for grooves like a groove pool in ableton or a regroove mixer and propeller head reason in uh, bitwig studio we don't really have a way to import and export grooves or template template grooves those type of things um we do however have a global shuffle which like i say is global and then also you can right click on a clip and through the quantize function you can give it a shuffle that way or you can humanize it that way but understanding fundamentally what's going on with your midi data when you do put a groove or a swing on it is very very uh of fundamental importance really and so what we're going to do is we're going to discuss what exactly creates a shuffle and how to create your own personal shuffle in your midi clips so what we're going to do we got a drum track here we're going to right click create a midi clip and we'll double click on that and then inside this clip, we're going to create the most basic pattern imaginable. We're going to put quarter note kick drums. So every quarter note is going to get a kick drum. Every half note is going to get a snare. So basically a kick drum on the one, two, three, four, a snare on the two and the four. And then hi-hats, we're going to do eighth note hi-hats. And again, you can copy and paste this stuff over. I'm just going to go ahead and manually plug it in here real quick. And so that's what we got. We got a very, very basic beat. Let's go ahead and play this real quick. You can hear the most basic beat imaginable. Now, we're going to take this very, very simple beat. We're going to put a very, very simple shuffle on it. Now, to understand what's going on with your MIDI data, what we're going to actually do is we're going to take every other hi-hat and we're going to hold control and click it. If you hold control while you click, you can uh, select multiple things. Now, in selecting it, we're going to open up the inspector, okay? And under the inspector, we're going to have the start field. This is where the note starts. So you can see on the far right, you have the double zero. Now, the double zero means you're right on the grid, okay? Now this far right field is your ticks. These are very, this is a very, very, very small amount of movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this clip and we're going to scrub this amount up and down ever so slightly. Do you hear it? I'm sure you hear it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this back to zero where it was. We're going to actually go the other way. We're going to go towards the previous note. You hear that? And again, when you do this, you can kind of find the sweet spot. And the sweet spot is the difference between something that just is, is fatiguing on your ears and something that sits right in the pocket. What I recommend doing is when you are putting your tracks together, when you have all the other instruments playing together using this technique. Now, the shuffle and the groove, what's going on there is every other note, in the, in the eighth note hi-hats, every other note is being either pushed back for a swing or pushed forward for a shuffle or a groove. And um, understanding that is very, very fundamental because, of course, you can right click this and you can hit the quantize and you'll get this window here. And then you can kind of do all that stuff based on your MIDI grid. And this is a very, very powerful window. But the ability to actually do it yourself and understand exactly what's going on is super powerful not only that but you can only push your notes forward you cannot push them back you cannot go into negative values here in other words you can't create a swing and that's that's huge that's a huge thing to me and so by manually doing it you can actually push those notes back yourself and so understanding this panel is very powerful and very important but understanding what's going on with your MIDI data when you actually apply a shuffle is equally as important but also understanding what's going on when you're selecting every other note and pushing it back or pulling it forward and hearing how that affects your groove, that is fundamentally very, very important. And so the whole object of this lesson is to create your own grooves, your own shuffles, you know, 
to personalize your grooves and shuffle. Granted, you don't have a groove template or you don't have like a regroove or, or, or a, a groove pool or anything like you do in a bunch of other DAWs, but technically you can take this and save this as a MIDI file or you can just write down, you know, write down this value and be like, you know, I really like to pull it back, you know, 50 ticks. You know, that really gives it that, that real nice little swing or forward, you know. And so by using the inspector and actually scrubbing this value, you can get a very, very precise shuffle out of that, you know. A couple more quick tips before I leave this lesson behind. We're going to actually do something here. Um, that makes this a lot easier. Now, if you create a groove or a shuffle, you have to come in here and you have to control click every other note, and that kind of gets annoying. And so, another really handy, helpful hint is to uh, double click on here, give yourself your drum cube, and then click on the hi hat and actually hold control and move it over. What that's going to do is duplicate it. And then now you can go back to your MIDI clip, and you can again, if you click on the name, you're going to select all the MIDI notes in that lane. So like here, all the snare notes, all the kick notes, just by clicking on the actual header right here, it selects all the notes in that MIDI lane. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, again, hold down on control and duplicate this, okay? And then we're going to offset it. So now basically you've got 16th note hi-hats, but they're on separate lanes. So let's go ahead and listen to that. Uh, uh, oh yeah, girl. Uh, ah. Okay, so the great thing about putting these on separate lanes, though, is just by clicking the header, you can select all the notes. So right here, you can just click that and then scrub the amount right here. And I recommend scrubbing while you're playing. That's handy. There you go. Now, another thing that I highly, highly recommend is to make sure and select all these. So by lassoing them, select all your hi-hats and then use, use your velocity. Okay. Um, create a little chaos, create a little spread, you know, and you can actually physically see what's going on with your velocity. So that's super, super cool. So you can kind of see what's going on with your velocity. And so what you've done is you've created some variation. Variation is key, especially when it does come to shuffle and groove or getting off the grid is very, very important. Let's go ahead and listen to that. You can even create some variation in the pitch. The, the inspector and the notes and the variation and everything has a histogram. Velocity, release velocity, you got gain, you got pan, your pitch, your timbre, your pressure. These two things don't do anything, but they can be used to modulate parameters. And so that's a very, very powerful, good thing to understand. Now, this whole idea of creating a groove and a shuffle not only works with hi-hats, but what you can do is you can actually select you know, every other kick drum and snare drum and actually push that forward a little bit. Again, by scrubbing that start value. Let's put another kick drum right here at the end.
that's about enough of that. It's kind of the whole idea of this lesson is to understand that if you click on every other note and push it forward or pull it back, you're going to create a swing or a shuffle or a groove. And that's uh, that's pretty much where it's at, you know. Create your own stuff. You don't have a groove template, but just deal with it. You know, create your own grooves and stuff. So, Anyway, chill computer guy. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Um, tell a friend about the channel. Comment below. Let me know what you want to see. We're going to be in Bitwig Studio for a little while. I'm just feeling a little bit more inspired in Bitwig Studio lately. So I try to work where I feel inspired. So we're going to have some tutorials coming up on the... Uh, on the uh, the phase four as well as other various things so let me know what you want to see down there down below all right thanks again for watching we'll see you guys next week